this video, we're learning how to find the surface area of triangular prisms. And if you look at the top of the screen, it says the surface area is equal to the total area of all faces. And that's just true for any three-dimensional figure. So for this triangular prism, we just want to find the area of each of the five faces and add those together. So let's get started on this example. So I'm going to find the area of these two right triangles first. So I'm just going to shade them in. So I want to find the area of this front face and this back triangular face. And what you may notice is that those are going to have the same area. So I'm going to write the area of the front triangle. And then we're going to find the area of the back triangle. And they'll end up being the same, but I'll show you guys why. So remember to find the area of a triangle, we're going to do 1 half times the base times the height. Oops. And now let's figure out what our base and our height are. So in this front triangle, our base is going to be 3 inches, and our height always has to be perpendicular to our base, so it's going to be this height of 4 inches here. So our area is going to be 1 half times our base of 3, times our height of 4 inches, and 3 times 4 is 12, and if we cut that in half, we're going to get 6, so we get 6 inches squared. And for our back triangle, this base is 3 inches, and this height is also 4 inches. So those two triangles are congruent, so they're going to have the same area. So again, we want to do 1 half times our base of 3 inches times our height of 4 inches, and we just found out that that equals 6 inches squared. So we know that the area of the two triangular faces are each 6 inches squared. So I'm going to erase this so that I can find the area of some of the other sides. So next, let's do the bottom. So I'll say the area of the bottom rectangle. So I'm trying to find the area of this bottom rectangle right here. So I'll shade it in so it's easier to see what we're doing. And remember to find the area of a rectangle, we just do length times width. And we can probably tell that our length is 8 inches and our width is 3 inches. So we're going to do 8 times 3, which gives us an area of 24 inches squared. And now let's go ahead and erase this. And we have two more sides to find. So let's find the area of this left side over here. So I'll say area of the left rectangle. We're going to use the same formula, so length times width. And now let's see if we can figure out what our length and our width are. So we could probably tell that our width is 4 inches, and our length is going to be this line right here or this one down here. Either way you think about it, this is going to be 8 inches because it's the same as this line right here. So to find our area, we're going to do our length of 8 times our width of 4. 8 times 4 is 32. So we get an area of 32 inches squared. And finally, now we want to find the area of this right rectangle. So the area of right rectangle. And let me just shade this rectangle so we know which rectangle we're finding the area of. So this rectangle right here. And again, to find the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So now we can probably tell that this 8 inches is going to be the length of this rectangle, and this 5 inches is going to be the width of this rectangle. So our area is equal to 8 times 5, which is 40 inches squared. And now that we find the area of every face of our triangular prism, to find the total surface area, we're just going to add up all those areas. So total surface area is going to be equal to 6 inches squared plus 6 inches squared plus 24 inches squared plus 32 inches squared plus 40 inches squared. And if we add these all together, we should get a total surface area of 108 inches squared. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the surface area of triangular prisms. Just remember to find the area of each face and then add up all those areas.